I don't know what to do. I'm sad. This is Melissa Drake. She uses a wheelchair and speaks through well, sign language. Now, I'm going to miss here a lot. Mm. I'm going to miss it here a lot. She's been living at the Bell Oaks apartment complex for more than seven years now, with some help from Section 8 housing vouchers. She, along with dozens of her neighbors, were just slapped with this eviction notice, saying she has until the day after Christmas to pack her things and leave. Yeah, I'm having a real hard time. Sorry, it's very emotional. We don't discuss it a lot. Her caretaker and interpreter says Drake is struggling to find another place to live close to the resources in this neighborhood, which she relies on. I don't understand how a landlord can do this to like a lot of the people that live here are elderly. They're disabled. They're on fixed, limited incomes. This is a horrendous thing to have to happen over and over again. Especially at the holidays. Yeah, my, and I have to move out by my birthday, December 26th. Kenneth Barrow has lived here for a decade, also with the help of Section 8 housing vouchers. I, I love this place because there's just something, a, a, a warm, just really just brilliant feeling here, and it's not about money. He believes the abrupt evictions are a runaround way for owners to dramatically raise the rent, all before California's new rent control law kicks in on January 1st. Because in this neighborhood, they could skyrocket the rents once they did what they need to do around here. Sure, absolutely. And because of it, he worries he'll be homeless by his 51st birthday. I'm pretty upset about it, and I'm trying to hold back my feelings because whenever I think about this, I, I mean, I've been crying like for the last two weeks just about, you know, on and off.